while ago, I took a look at an Android launcher which is undoubtedly the closest to Windows Phone 8. This launcher known as Launcher 8 is a great replacement to the person who wants to try out the overall layout of Windows Phone but have an Android phone. Recently, I was contacted by the developer team behind Launcher 8 to do a more in-depth tutorial on some of the deeper features of this launcher. The launcher itself brings a very clean and accurate Windows Phone-like experience with various custom themes, colors, and animations. If you're interested in this launcher, the first thing you'll have to do is find the launcher in the App Store. By looking up Launcher 8, then hitting Install. After it is finished downloading, hit open and a small notification will pop up asking to set Launcher 8 as the default. Hit OK then select Launcher 8 as the home app. Now you'll probably want to customize your home screen by editing tiles. If you see an application tile that's not on your home screen, swipe to the left of your screen then tap and hold on the application you'd like on your home screen and hit add tile. To change the size of an application, tap and hold on it and tap the small arrow. You can also hit the unpin button to remove the tile from your home screen. For more advanced options, hit the small pencil icon and you can change many of the settings of how the app is displayed as shown here. To change the logo appearing on a tile, tap and hold it, then hit the pencil icon and select picture icon. Here you can choose from a long list of existing logos or import your own. If you dislike the default color, just tap tile background color in the settings and various color options will now become available. Some applications may not be properly bound to a tile. All you have to do to fix this is tap the tile, then bind to app and select the application you'd like to be bound to a chosen tile. You can also add widgets to Launcher 8. Swipe to the left and click the small gear icon and scroll down to custom widgets. Here you can add widgets to your home screen from the launcher or download it from the Google Play Store. Also, when you tap the gear icon, you can access themes and save your current setup. The themes shown here are mainly kinda complex, but some are very simple and beautiful looking. Just tap a theme and your tiled interface will change to look like your chosen theme. While you're in the settings, you can also turn on and off animations if you desire, and change the status bar to a more Windows 8 styled bar. If you want to go all out and make your software even more Windows Phone 8 styled, you can even add a Windows Phone 8 styled lock screen. Just swipe to the left in settings and various options will appear where you can change fonts, wallpapers and add a password. When you turn on and off your device, this lock screen is automatically activated. If you want to start fresh with this launcher, swipe to the bottom of the settings, hit init and from here you can choose if you want to save your current setup, then hit OK. This will then restore the original Launcher 8 default home screen and settings. If you enjoy Launcher 8 and would like to support the developer team and get more awesome features, the pro version of Launcher 8 is only a dollar. If this video was helpful or interesting, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.